Exactly. Christ taught us to be wise as serpents and harmless as doves. That's my point. Like if 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 you don't care about me in any kind of way, at, even at the slightest, I'm gonna keep it moving with a smile because I don't got time for people to be dealing with me from an idea of who they think I am. I'm tired of that. I was in a relationship for three years, bro. Three years. Gave my all. Literally. 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 And the whole time, the person was dealing with me from an idea. An idea of who they thought I was. Rather than getting to know me genuinely and loving me from that place. I don't got time for nobody like that. Exactly, Christ did not call us, did not call us to be doormats. I, I no, you can't wipe your feet on me and think that I'm I'm not gonna feel no type of way with your with your crust crusty ass feet. No, no. And a lot of people mad that I stand up for myself, but I I don't give a damn. I don't care. I, I'm at that point. I'm at that point. Like. No, I'm at that point. Like, I don't care how you feel. I don't care. I don't care. I will keep saying that. I will say it to a bitch face. And you know what? Uh, God forgive me for even cursing like that in that moment. Because I shouldn't even be doing that around Eliana. But at the end of the day, you know why I'm not around people? I'm not around people because... When I speak to people and I tell them how I feel, they want to fight me. They want to hit me. They want to literally fight me. Even if I'm not around them. Even if I'm not around them. I don't even have to be around them and tell them how I feel. I could be over the phone. I could not say nothing and they still want to hurt me. They still want to fight me. Why? I don't do nothing to nobody. I don't be using nobody, I don't be manipulating nobody, I don't be doing none of that, I just be doing what I feel like is right, and then when I figure out if I'm doing something that's wrong and I figure out that it's not right, I ask for forgiveness, I keep it moving, I take accountability, and I keep it moving, and I continue to build my life, but I don't want to be around violence, I don't want to be around negative people, I don't want to be around toxic people, toxic energy. I don't want to be around it. I would rather be by myself, completely by myself with my children than to be put in a situation where I'm getting abused in any kind of way. And you should too. I don't care how much you think you love that person. I don't care how much love you feel like you have for that person. I don't care if you feel like you, you, you will lay down your life. But if that person is hurting you, abusing you, Mentally, physically, Mama. spiritually, Mama. Mama. emotionally. Don't allow nobody to, to abuse you. Don't. Don't do it. Because guess what? If you let somebody abuse you, then on the flip side to that, you're going to be hurt. You're going to look stupid. You're going to feel bad. Your self-confidence is going to be at zero. You're not going to know what to do with yourself. You're going to be depressed. You're going to be crying about every little thing in life. You're going to be paranoid. You're going to be have mental issues straight like that. And a lot of people tell me, oh, you need to go to therapy. You need to go to therapy. I went to therapy. And therapy was just sitting there looking at me, crying for me. Crying for me. I'm actually working out the kinks of the reasons why I made the decisions that I made. Like, that's what therapy don't tell us and don't get down to the root of. What did you do? They, we Therapy only targets the root, like, as far as our childhood and, and let us know that it's a pattern that we've lived in our life. Okay, yeah, it's a pattern. Okay, yeah. But how do you break that pattern? How do you actively go about breaking that pattern that you consistently are perpetuating that's causing the circumstances 
that you're going through in your life. You have to look at yourself. You have to ask yourself, why am I continuing to make these same mistakes over and over and over? Is it because I'm insecure somewhere? Am I insecure? Am I, am I looking for love in all the wrong places? You know, am I, am I, in, do I feel incompetent? Like I, like, am, do I, do I feel like I can't accomplish something? You know, and if you ever have evidence in your life that, te- that actually mean the opposite or you assess everything you've done in your life and there's more evidence of the fact that you can be successful, you are confident, you are great, you are loved, you are this, you are that. And there's only but a small percentage that says like you're a failure and you can't do this and you can't do that, you can't do this. More than likely, 75% more than likely, you are a great person, period.